This is video one of Rewrap Project. Finally got the uh, plastic parts in the mail today. So let's open it up, see what's inside. I got this from eBay actually. A Canadian seller sold it for me. Hmm, 60 bucks, 15 dollars to get it shipped in. 75 bucks for all the plastic parts needed. Not too bad. He printed it out on his mendrel, but these are a. I don't know what it's called exactly. This is the smallest version of the reap wraps. Uh, it's the, the mini reap wrap, but it's a different version. Exactly what it's called. I'll add it to the bottom of the YouTube video. I'll give you a link for to do it. So we got all the parts printed. You can see it still has the uh, the bottom plate of the plastic when it first the first layer it prints out, so it has a nice base to each part. I'm actually surprised on the stability of it. It's really rigid. Didn't think it would be this rigid. I'm going to have to clean it up, take some sandpaper to it, smooth it out, cut all this off. That's that's normal, you can actually see. Maybe you can tell the thickness of how the plastic is, like this little piece right here. That's, the, that's straight out of the extruder. It's pretty thin. But it is, it's nice and solid though. Surprise how solid this is. I thought it was going to be a lot flexible. Even this, the really thin parts, they got like, it's okay. They got like, maybe three layers thickness on this little circle there, and it's pretty stable still. Hey, stop scratching the box. <laughs> kitty kitty. All little pieces. These are the mounting brackets for the motors. Actually, gives you a real comparison on how small those actual motors are. I thought they were a lot bigger, but uh, I've never actually seen one in real life. The stepper motors, but actually pretty small. It's about like an inch and a half. It's going to be a really small device. Probably just going to be like this big when it's finally done. Have a printable area of like. I think it's three inches by two inches. So you got a big enough space to print out any of these parts. I can print out a mandrel out of uh, whatever this is called. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Too many different types of reef wraps. So I want to give you guys more of a size comparison so you guys actually know how big these are. This is a quarter, and this is the mountain bracket for one of the stepper motors, and it's pretty much, that little hole right there is pretty much the size of a quarter. It almost fits just, just a little bit smaller on the pieces, so. so that gives you a nice size comparison on how big these pieces are. It's actually... Like the, this one right here, that's, this thing's freaking tiny. This two right here. Maybe I can get it to focus on these a little bit better. Okay. So you can really tell how small these pieces really are. They got the first layer printed here. You can see how it's in a nice pattern. And then you can actually, you might be able to see the ridges of it. I don't know, I can't tell. It's 
it's one of the stepper motor brackets. See, this stuff just comes right off. start taking all this stuff off now. Maybe you can do it by hand. I have no idea. Yeah. That just comes right off. It's pretty simple. Nice. Do you know if we have any sandpaper, my love? Yeah, you want that Yeah. I can find it. I think I know where it is. Just put my sleeve to work. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> You're lucky. I know. I'm, I'm lucky I'm cute. That is a... See, I was, I was a little afraid about how the gears would be printed out. But they're definitely, they're going to be fine. It's definitely fine, like, no issue. I'll put a link down at the bottom of the YouTube video to the guy I bought it from in Canada. Maybe I'll send a little business his way. New guy to eBay, but shit, 60 bucks, can't fucking beat it. Can't beat it with a stick. Most other eBay eBay sellers they're starting it off at 120, you know, whatever, 60 bucks. I'll I'll take it from someone that's new to eBay. I got it, you know. So basically, just taking off the the first layer that goes down. Basically, the printer prints down a first a first layer to make it. So it has a surface to print the parts onto. So we'll print out this big design real quick, and then it'll start printing out the actual part. So then all your parts have this little design on it. So you can take a little, little piece of sandpaper, just get all the little ridges out of there. I'm gonna have to go in there, maybe a knife or something, just poke out that little a little bit right there. Maybe when I slide the rod through, it'll just pop right out anyway. Won't even have to worry about it. Do the same with these ones. Just slide a knife right in there. Get rid of it. I'm going to keep plugging away at this shit. I'll see you when it's done. So, I just noticed some. It's going through all these brackets here. I noticed that Two of them were printed a little, a little inaccurate. Just a little, like a little extruder problem right, right there. I don't know if you can see it. Luckily, the seller noticed. And included two more. So, looks like I have two extra brackets that are semi-printed wrong. Oops. As you can see. They're probably still usable, honestly. So I got two extra brackets in case I break one of these little guys, which is actually one of the second smallest parts. Which this being the smallest one, I think I'm gonna freaking lose one of these things. I'm probably gonna leave the first print, leave the whole outside on these ones, just so I don't lose them. But got all these cleaned up already. Still. Working on these guys, sanding them up. That is where I'm at. All right, I got all the pieces all sanded and the bottom plates taken off, so I'll be able to go down to my local home goods store or local hardware store, whatever the hell you want to call it, without actually mentioning the name of the store. And just start get all the metal rods so I can start putting all the pieces together. I'll have these two up here. We'll have metal bars going down in a triangle pattern. Got all the uh, 
motor mounts already, so you can mount the motors to the side and above. It's kind of so exciting! Oh my god! It's actually... That's it. That's all the pieces. It's pretty... Pretty small, actually. Not too many pieces to build it.